Girl, I'm not lying. Come on, just look in these eyes. Just these look like the eyes that were lying to you, girl. Come on. You have now tuned into my Basketball Wives season, I don't even remember what season, but we know what episode this is. And all that information will be in the description area. Guys, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet done so. Also, be sure to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, wherever you like to share videos. And check out my other channel because tomorrow, of course, I will have my Love & Hip Hop ATL, let's get it show day recaps over there. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. We start off with Drea. She is being the peacemaker, as we remember from last episode. She's telling Jackie about what Brandy and Malaysia would like in order to have some type of you know, to, to be cool with her and kind of bring the peace back to the whole little group that they had before. So for Brandy, she has to do the a donation. I, was it a donation? I believe it was a donation or maybe it was to actually throw something on behalf of her uh, cancer fund that she has, ovarian cancer. So that's one thing. And then for Malaysia, Malaysia has to be able to have a date with Doug. And she tells her that, and she, but she doesn't say the word date. Where she messed up is that she said a meeting is what Malaysia would like to have with Doug. And Doug was sitting there at the time. Doug seemed like he was flattered, like he was smiling, laughing about it. And she's just looking at him like, it's not funny. <laughs> what does she want to meet with him for? But she actually agrees to it. So when J Drea came back to Malaysia and Brandy and the girls and told them about it, she was just pissed about the whole situation because I guess she didn't think that Jackie would actually agree to something like that. She felt like Jackie loves this man so much, she's so controlling over him, that she would totally say no and they would never have to speak to each other ever again. But unfortunately, that's not the way it turned out. So Malaysia was having like a little bit of a temper tantrum because of that. Patrice Curry, she's the new person of the show, and I just feel like, well, at least we're starting to get to know her a little bit more, but I don't know, I'm not really vibing with her too much. She does tell us a little bit about her. She says that she has seven kids, collectively, her and her, and her husband, and um, I guess with one of them, it was due to infidelity, and unfortunately the mother of that child actually ended up getting brutally murdered and she is now in the process of adopting that child she kind of made amends with him well he made amends with her and she kind of forgives him and they're moving forward and that actually makes malaysia when she sees their large family and how far they came she kind of feels like as though she gave up on her marriage and you know, it still hurts her because it's still pretty fresh that this man that she's been with all these years since she was 19 years old and now she's probably, I guess, in her 30s, I would suppose, she's no longer with him because of him not being able to not cheat on her or whatever it was. So now Jackie, she was having a commercial and, you know, she has this big snake. Did you guys see my snake picture that I put up on Instagram? It was like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was huge. It was almost actually as big as that snake. I had it for like a few minutes and I was kind of like Jackie Christie. I was like, oh my God, it's starting to look at me. I was like, wait, I was like, okay, I told my son to take the picture. And then I was like, okay, sir, you can take back your snake because it was starting to freak me out a little because it was looking at me. I'm like, does this thing, is this thing going to hurt me? What's going to happen? I was like, all Alright, <laughs> so yeah, she, she is in love with having this snake, it has to be in her commercial. One thing that's bad is that her leading lady didn't come on time, and the time is ticking, time means money, so Megan just so happens to come by, and she's like, you know what, Megan, do you think you can be the leading lady because the person that's supposed to be here is too late. Megan takes over like a boss, and she does the darn thing. Patrice ends up coming as well, but she was giving him some funny vibes, because it's like, Patrice, she's there because she kind of wants to be nosy and be able to come back and run to the girls, but she also was there too because because she's quote unquote she thought that Drea and Malaysia was gonna be there but I, Drea, Malaysia and Brandy but none of them were there the only person I would have assumed that would have been there would have been Drea because Drea is kind of back and forth and back and forth but other than that I, I didn't think that the other two of them was gonna be there because what would they be there for they don't even like her like that right now maybe eventually they could get into that space and even Jackie's like why is Patrice here I don't even know her like that and Megan was like she she feels like she's evil and she literally told her like I feel like you're evil and when she meets with 
Drea, Drea and Megan meet later on. Drea tells her that she was getting a funny vibe from Patrice. She felt like she was there just for a certain reason and she, it's like her stories was conflicting. She told Drea one thing and then she told Jackie and Megan a whole nother story. So she's starting to look a little bit like a liar and I think that Megan already kind of wrote her off. Like I don't really like her. And she pretty much told her like she thought that she was ill of it. And Drea, Drea's like, you told her that? Oh my God. I'm like, girl, Drea. Do you not watch TV? Have you never seen Bad Girls Club Redemption or Bad... I mean, she wasn't on Bad Girls Club Redemption, but Bad Girls Club The Battle, All-Star Battle, or Bad Girls Club, whatever season this girl was in. Have you not watched TV? Come on, everybody trying to pretend like they don't know that she's from The Bad Girls Club. Like, this girl is crazy. We all know that. But she, she has... She speaks pretty well. So she kind of fools you into thinking that she's not some ghetto girl, but yeah, she can throw down. Like, she's a pretty girl that knows how to fight. Like, she'd be fighting men and all kind of things. Uh, what else happened? So Brandy and Jackie, they met up later on, and Jackie kind of explains to her the reason why she isn't really cool with her. She's like, when Sunday had said what she said about, oh, go have kids, or something along those lines, she, she said, she was laughing, I was like, no, you didn't say that. Jackie did look at this woman in her face and lied to her. I felt like Jackie was lying because Jackie goes and says, do you think that I would laugh about something like that? She was like, no, 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 look at me. Like, she, she dead showed her eyes, like, look at me. I would never laugh about something like that. I'm like, girl, they showed the clips how many times? That was the reason why you was laughing. What are you talking about? You know, it was more like a, oh, I can't believe it. She was like, I didn't even know that she meant it like that. Girl, you knew she meant it like that because you gasped at the at her saying that. You were like, oh, I can't believe you said that. Like, she didn't really, I don't feel like she really laughed, laughed, maliciously laughed like that. Like, I feel like she more was like, oh my God, girl, did you say something like, oh no, for real, though, that's harsh. Like, one of those types of things. But it's still, regardless, you knew what she was talking about. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gasped. You would have been like, but why would you say that? Why Why would you say go have kids? Like, you know, like she literally told her her struggles before about the whole kid situation. Jackie knew. Jackie does not have Alzheimer's disease. So for her to do that, it was crazy. Oh, let's talk about this whole meeting with Malaysia and Doug now. So Malaysia and Doug, they have a meeting. And let me tell you something. This was like the stupidest meeting ever. Let me see. What do I have? <laughs> Malaysia came like this, y'all. Malaysia came to the table like this. Yo, we would have thought that she converted to Muslim, to being a Muslim or a Judaism or something. I don't even think, Judaism. I, I don't know, I don't know. But she, you would have thought, no disrespect to anybody, but I'm just saying, like, the way she was covered up, had no cleavage showing, had on some pants. I'm surprised she didn't wear sweatpants that were, like, super duper baggy just so her butts don't show, you know, because she was making sure she looked, she still was face beat and all that, but she had, she was covered up. And he's like, she, she didn't even want to sit in the same table. She had her mace in her pocketbook because she's like, you know what? Your wife is crazy. I know she's somewhere around here. He's like, no, she's not here. She's like, yeah, she's in the car. No, she's not in the car. Doug, why are you lying? She is right in the car. She is looking at you guys. Yo, while he's talking to us, she's trying to read the lips. She cannot read the lips. Jackie could not read what was going on. So she's getting frustrated like, oh my God, I can't believe I let this happen. <sighs> this is crazy. Like, she looked like she was about to have an anxiety attack. And they wasn't even talking about nothing too serious or crazy or anything. She was just saying little things about Jackie and how she felt like Jackie treated her. And she was just so, like, sitting there like, oh my god. It's like, she literally called him, like, even though she could see him, she saw them laughing. And she's like, oh my god, no, 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 no. Let me call him. Doug? Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, so what are you guys talking about? Okay, yeah. And she had to make sure that she reminded him that she loves him. Like, baby, I love you. Like, you better say it back. This is the time that you better make sure that you say you love me right now. Because if you don't, I'm about to come out this car and get crazy up in here. That's the kind of vibe that she was giving me when she was talking to him and she said that I love you. Like, yeah, you better say it back. Okay, baby, we talk later. Okay. And <laughs> when they were about to leave, she, like, he was going over to give her a hug, and she was like, oh, no, no. She, he's like, yeah. Yo, why? <laughs> they showed Jackie, like, literally, like, oh, my God, what did I do? 
<laughs> like literally crying. Yo, I almost died with that part. That was hilarious. But yeah, this this episode it was pretty quick. Like there wasn't anything else that was like too exciting that we got to talk about. Guys, let me know what you thought about this episode down below. Um, yeah, don't forget to check out some more Love TV because once again, that's where Basketball Wives, I mean Basketball Wives, that's where Love and Hip Hop Atlanta is going to be. And um, yeah, I'm, I've seen some clips on this show, Basketball Wives, and let me tell you guys something. It looks like it's going to be some crazy scenes with Megan about to get crazy, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.